morning folks so yesterday I arrived in Gaziantep with that nice uh, truck driver he had to do some deliveries and it was a bit of a confusion some confusion where he did one delivery sort of in the north of town like north of the center and I explained that I'm going to the center and I don't mind walking some and he drove down like a big main road and I said like let me out here it's I'm three kilometers from the center so I'll just walk this last bit and like I was going right and he was going left and I saw on his maps that he was going left so I said let me out here and he said no 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 like you know all in Turkish but what I gathered from the, that conversation was he wanted to go and do another delivery and then he's passing back through this part and so that he'd be able to take me closer kind of thing anyway so we drove like another three or four kilometers further away from that position and um, I was just waiting in the cab while he was doing that second delivery in town and then he comes to the door and he's like okay like that's it and so I was like all right fine all good uh, anyway so then I had like a six kilometer walk into to where I was staying um, about about halfway along I found a train station took the train and and, and came into town uh, Gaziantep is nice it's different to all the other cities obviously but uh, yeah today I'm gonna go and explore Gaziantep they call it Antep I don't know if it's just because it's quite a long name for a city but Gaziantep and then they say Antep and then there's also Shanlurfa which is my next destination tomorrow uh, and they call that Urfa not Shanlurfa anyway so don't know why they do that but Gaziantep has got some history there's a castle over there and there's like I don't know some kind of underground water system that I'm not really entirely sure about I might go check that out today they're also famous for Lamachun which is like this really thin it's almost like a pizza I, I don't want to offend anybody by saying it's a pizza N not the Turks nor the Italians but Lamachun is their thing and it's like a pizza and um and then baklava which i had some last night and it's good it's really good so uh let's see let's see what we get up to today all right oh and i had a little trick i wanted to show you so half the time traveling around turkey here i'm using couch surfing sorry half the time i'm traveling around turkey I'm using couch surfing and the other half of the time when hosts don't accept me I'm having to stay in budget hotels um, not all the time but some of the time they give you one of these cards to get in the door and to turn on the power so then like my laptop charges and you know the lights come on and stuff like this it doesn't always this doesn't always work as well but I want to keep my laptop charging because I'm uploading a video and so I need to take the card out so that means I can't upload the video while I go out and explore for the day what do I do find another card preferably not a credit card this is just the Istanbul train tram card pop that bad boy in there bing bong he's all on cool so, then everything works fine. is not in fact about some underground waterways like I thought it was it seems like there just there is like a cave thing underneath it the museum's actually for like a memorial of the Turkish War of Independence so it's gonna have lots of guns and, and stuff like this I'll um I'll probably 
fill in as I go slash put some cat facts because it's all written in Turkish so I need to translate the information sheets and that so yeah In the 19th century, the term Antep Mahmihesi, which translates to the great protected city, was used for Antep, which was the most prominent city of the south southeastern Anatolia, central Anatolia, and northern Syrian regions. So we're over here. This is the current border across here of, or like maybe a little higher, of um, Syria. I don't know where I was the other day is over this side, and where I'm heading is this way, and this would be the border of northern Iraq, and this would be Lebanon. So he, here is the current border of Syria, and this is where we are now. Uh, Antep was the primary shopping market of the merchants of the nearby region, and their next stop was Aleppo, which is now currently Syria. Now, is this gonna show it? No, that's... That's north and central. Oh, no, it does show it, sorry. Oh, okay, it's just a bit wonky. All right, this is the Mediterranean Sea with Italy. So, Baghdad, Halep, which would be Aleppo, Antep, Adana, Ankara, Istanbul. So here is the current borders of Turkey, okay? Here is Egypt, Sinai Peninsula, Saudi Arabia, and obviously this bit's the desert. Okay, Iraq is now here, you've got Kuwait, you've got Syria, you've got Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, Palestine. Okay, that's actually a better one. Tunisia, Libya, so in Turkish, Egypt is Mesir. And then that's the Black Sea there. It's weird looking like normally the maps are the other way around where like the, um, the water is the darker thing. <laughs> The Armistice of Mudros, signed between the Ottoman Empire and the Allied Powers on October 30th, 1918, puts an end to Ottoman sovereignty over Syria, Palestine, Iraq, and Arabia. So that, that lower region here where you can now see the borders. However, that's Gazantep there. So I'm not sure what the purple means. Um, Apart from protecting the borders and ensuring internal security, the Ottoman army was demobilized. In addition, Article 7 of the treaty granted the Allies the right to occupy any strategic point in the event of a situation that threatens their security. At this stage of the war, the Ottomans were only in actual conflict with England. With the Armistice of Mudros, a ceasefire was declared between the Ottoman Empire and England, effective from the morning of November 1st, 1918. Although this agreement was signed to end the conflicts, the war would officially end on January 20th, 1920, so like a year and a half later, as a result of the negotiations called the Paris Peace Conference. Then, when it comes to the occupation of Mosul, Mosul the, before the armistice of Mudros was signed, most of northern Iraq, except Mosul, was taken over by the British. Upon the signing of the treaty, the British immediately occupied Mosul on November 15th, 1918, citing Article 7 of this treaty. During the period, a significant part of the Br British armies was in Aleppo. I apologize for this being all a little bit choppy. I am, um, I'm learning it as you're learning it, so, yeah. Don't kill a little boy, guys.
Guys, come on now. Let it go. Wow, the, the ceilings are really low. After the siege that started in August, the situation was getting wor worse with each passing month. Ozdemir Bey requested support by sending telegrams to Mustafa Kemal Pasha, the Grand National Assembly, but the response from Ankara started, stated that support could not be given to Antep because the salvation of the nation depended on the wars on the Western Front. This answer was hidden by the public from the public by the central committees so that they would not despair. The seriousness of the situation was reported through telegrams sent to the second corps. Bouncer mails were sent, pigeon mails were flown, but unfortunately no support could be delivered to the city. It was decided to appeal to the world states of the pre President of the United States through the consulate in Ankara, hoping that there might be a solution. Ozdemir Bey and the Central Committee were struggling in despair in the face of the situation in the city, where hunger began to emerge. Okay, so this room's actually answered a couple of questions for me. I've just translated this and it says at the end of the resistance against the French occupation which lasted 25 months and 26 days of which 10 months were spent actually fighting being bombed struggled with disease and hunger Antep would be honored with the title that no city had ever been granted before at the 147th meeting of the Turkish Grand National Assembly on February 6th 1921 the chairman of the Council of Ministries and the Minister of National Defense, Fezi Chamak, presented a bill to grant the title of Ghazi to Antep, which fought against the enemy with its own with only its own means for months. The bill was which was accepted unanimously and with applause in the Turkish Grand National Assembly on the same date came into force by being published in the official gazette on the uh, on the 8th of February 1921 so earlier when I was saying like is it just because it's a long name and then the locals all sort of abbreviate it by just taking the last half of the word no it is Gazi Antep which I'll work out what the translation of Gazi is I'm guessing great or something like this and then Antep was what it was called before now it's Gazi Antep because of them holding off the French forces here in the city. How cool is that? All right, let's go see what else is going.
medics. Oh, there we go. We must have just bought him there. And the the wax models are rather realistic, I must say. Oh, don't cry. Someone help buddy in the back there. Uncle, are you okay? Yeah, the, the wax models are so realistic. <laughs> I mean, most wax museums are quite freaky to be honest. They're seemingly very little. I mean, I know I'm big, but pretty little. Okay, so over here with the donkey is was apparently the olive mill. Okay, and then what you saw just over there was the uh, treatment center. I'll go over here cooking up some tea. And this is the second chamber, apparently. Oh. Wait, you're building yourself into a hole there. Huh. Alright, so we've got the veteran city of the young republic. Temporary exhibitions face the legend of the 15th of July, Omar. Themir, Cafe Cabin, Isan Bay Castle, and the exit. Oh, I don't want to exit yet. Wow, how cool is this? Alright, these, these are the bits that are all in Turkish that I'll take some photos and insert. This is a very cool museum. It was free as well. Sort of on the southeastern side of town. And yeah, I can't believe it. It's really cool.
Okay, so there is a special water system thing. Technology used for the construction of levers is similar to that used of continents, which can be found over a broad region and stretches from the Middle East to the shores of the Mediterranean, eastern Turkestan. Kanats are general, gently sloping tunnels that carry underground water from the surface through the use of gravity. Divas, as man-made underground tunnels keep the water clean and moves it with the minimal loss from evaporation in warm climates. Okay, so here we go. So I'm pretty sure I entered Castle, 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 castle. Okay, it's not, it's not where I am. And I can't really see, I'm guessing that's meant to be another one. So there's a tunnel, and this is normally filling up with water just like this one. Whoa! You can see it goes all the way back there. Oh, okay, well, the exit's closed, so I'm going to have to walk all the way back through it again. It's okay. What is this? Mesquite Mosque? Yeah, there's a mosque there. Okay, I won't go up there and take my shoes off. It's okay. al -Rakwa. Oh, okay, I see. So this is normally maybe a second entrance when it's particularly busy. All right, well, I, I screwed that bit up. Thought I was gonna have to exit there. Anyway, so all the way back through it again, last time. What an amazing, amazing museum. I'll, um, I'll include a little bit more information, context, and put everything in the right order because I walked it wrong and then I was sort of talking about the them winning it at the end, at the beginning, and then introducing it all at the end. So I'll flick it all around, but this is maybe one of the best museums I've been to in the last year around the world to 20 different countries. This is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to see if they have a little tip box at the front so I can give them a little gift. Wow, this is epic. this cute little square just outside of the museum. I went into this place for some tea. I sat there for about half an hour and had four teas. And when I went to pay, I said, don't worry about it, don't pay. It's awesome. <laughs>